Hey everyone, how's it going? I imagine you all have experienced the same uh, troubles that I have with working through Chapter 15 databases. Um, so in order to understand what was going on, how to pair Apache Derby with Java, I started off with uh, code listing 15-11 on page 1060 of section 15.1. So on the right side of the screen, you can see that I already have all the code typed up. And I just want to point out that the only thing that will be changing is this string right here between uh, Derby and Entertainment DB and, and uh, Intelli IntelliJ ID. So we can ignore that for now. But first, uh, in order to get the database management system up and running and the IntelliJ environment go ahead and search Apache Derby and then click on Apache Derby it should be the first link and check to see what version you have for Apache Derby because um, I know I think it's a uh, Java dependent so go here to downloads and then check your Java uh, version so you can do that by just going into I have mine installed on my local drive uh, here in program files um, so this will just tell you what version you're using so right now I'm using 8.1 so I had went ahead and downloaded 10.14.2 uh, so just download whatever Apache Derby you have that suits your Java version uh, once you do have that downloaded I would go ahead and extract that folder to your desktop so Apache Derby right there and then copy the files. Oh, it looks like I emptied that. So let me go ahead and uh, extract that again. But you're going to copy these files into uh, a C directory here where you're, you'll make a new subdirectory for Derby. And you'll just be copying and pasting them in there. Um, so while that works out in the background, you'll see that you're going to go and open up your Derby subfolder the new derby folder that you created in your desktop and then you're going to copy those copy everything that's inside this bin this uh this directory right here so that includes the bin demo docs and all these other files and just go ahead and drop them into a a derby folder on your c drive so that's what i have uh, all that's already done that's kind of what's working out in the background just to show you so just move all those over I'm not going to do that because I already have them copied. All right, once you have that done, you're going to go back into your IntelliJ application and you will be opening up a database. So I had kind of already forgot how to do that. Let me see real quickly how that works. Um, I'm just going to right click here. Ah, well, here's the database tab. All right, found it. So you're going to click on the plus sign, and then you're going to go to data source, click on Apache Derby. I have my embedded. That's something that I screwed up, so it just keeps populating itself. But you're going to go and click on Apache Derby remote, and then there's going to be a download version button right here. You're going to click download, and it will download the driver files for Apache Derby uh, remote connection and then you just click OK. So one last step in, well there's a couple more steps in IntelliJ that you'll be working through. Um, you're going to need to add the library files from the uh, Derby directory that you just created. You'll find those library files in the lib folder and you'll be looking for the Derby client.jar that's like a java application runtime file so click on file go to project structure and then click on libraries click the plus sign and java and then you'll have to navigate to this directory um, so let me go ahead and do that lib You can just copy and paste that in here. And it 
it is the derby client.jar. So click OK, and it will add these library files to our current project. Cool. Um, so yeah, I'll just go ahead and run this. It's not going to work, but I'm sure many times we've all tried to run this and we've got this no suitable driver found. Um, so what that means is we still need to create the, I think, like the connection to the database management system, which is Apache Derby. So you gotta have to go and click on your terminal um, sub window down here, open that up, and we gotta navigate to this Derby bin directory, and we'll be running the start network dot bat. I mean, start network server dot bat file. Uh, so you can do that by just typing in cd, which stands for change directory, and then dot dots uh, forward slash a bunch of times till you get to your. Well, actually, I think you can just do cd c. Uh, I don't. I don't remember. I'm not. I'm not particularly skilled in Linux, so I'm just gonna do it the brute force way and go up to your C drive up until um, Derby is provided, or at least go into your user folder. I kind of screwed that up, so let me go into there, and then you can type out dir. It'll list all your files, and then just change your directory until you get into uh, the Derby folder. And then the same thing to get into uh, bin. Actually, it looks like I am screwing up here. Uh, okay, there we go. Let's get to your C directory. I was in my uh, still in my users directory by mistake. So if I type dir, it uh, should see a derby folder, and then you're just gonna change directory into derby and do the same thing once more to get into bin. Now that we're in bin, we can see that we have our our bat files and these other configuration files. So just type out start network server.bat and it will run the uh, startup network connectivity for Apache Derby database management system. So something to note is that we're just basically opening up a port to that connection and you're gonna look at this number eight here because that's important. We'll be adding a new line in between Derby and entertainment and it's gonna go something like this forward slash forward slash local host uh, and then I think it was slash 1527 slash uh, and then once you have all that done you can click run and it should work else I typed out it wrong oh yeah it worked okay great so that's a key make sure you have that line computed and you always have to do this after uh, running your network server for Apache Derby so if you're going to be creating a new database or accessing uh, Apache Derby you will have to go into this terminal window and run the start network server.bat file each time you open up IntelliJ, uh, as well as making sure you add those files to your project structure. Um, I'm not reliable for all your code, so uh, please do your diligence, make sure this works for you. Um, I know it, right here it's that Derby file is added in. You can see that right there for the Java application runtime. And um, yeah, so if you have any questions, just uh, comment to this, and I'll try to get back to you soon. Uh, that's how I work through all this. I, I search everything online, and I found my answers using Stack Overflow. So that's great, and I hope you guys find this to be helpful as well.